Good morning, everyone. I wanted to do something really cute and simple for this video, so I'm giving this little broom a makeover. I use it regularly, um, but the colors aren't what I want, so I'm gonna give this little guy a new face. Well, two, actually. First, I'm sanding the surfaces of the broom in the pan. Um, the surface right now is really slick. I know that the acrylics aren't going to stick. And I'm giving both a few coats of white paint as a primer. It's just acrylic, but it should stick to the uh, roughed up surface pretty well. I'm waiting for the sides to dry in between and then flipping and then doing more coats, and it took several coats. I sketched out my ideas on a uh, sheet of paper first, and I even swatched out some of my colors to make sure that the color scheme was right. So my idea was this little witch and her cat who would then catch all my dust, and the kitty would eat it up. I sketched out the designs on the primer itself with a pencil first. I hadn't really planned on the cat being the center of the attention, but he's just super cute. He's very Cheshire Cat-like. I went ahead and I pulled out my kneaded eraser to dull the pencil so it doesn't bleed through the paint, because I know that it has a, a tendency to do that. And for the paint, I'm just using cheap acrylics that I use for kind of everything, but I also use them for the pigments in my dyes in a lot of cases. The one thing is that I really kind of regret how the little hat on the witch broom turned out, because it doesn't look like a witch hat at all. I'm just unwilling to go back and change it. I basically just wanted to do something cute and dice adjacent for this video, but not dice. I've been doing a decent amount of that without filming it, and I wanted to do something a little bit different this week. This little dustpan set, I use it almost daily for when I'm demolding things or just cleaning up my space, and I like, I like it when my tools have a certain aesthetic to it, so I wanted to use this little guy as a, a focus for a video sometime. I added some black details, but here's my mistake. And now she looks like a crayon. Last, I went in with a Sharpie to do the outlines. I think the, the ink flowed really nicely over the acrylics and it turned out really smooth. And the, the black outlining really brought the face of the cat together nicely. Then to finish him off, I added some little yellow eyes uh, to the cat to match the bristles of the broom, which I obviously couldn't change, and finished him up. I'm super happy with them! And also, they do their job splendidly. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you soon.